Hi Pisces, welcome to your October 2018 general reading. Uh, this is a three card major arcana reading and then one from the swords, one from the wands, one from the pentacles and one from the cups and then one from the wild Kuan Yin oracle. So I'm just going to give one more shuffle and one more cup. And let's get your three cards for Pisces for October 2018. Okay, Hierophant in reverse, Sun in reverse, Judgment in reverse. Ooh, wow, okay. Okay, I'm reading towards me, by the way. <clears throat> hmm. Right, well, I would say the best approach to whatever's going on here, indicated by this, would be to stop, if you can, stop going over everything. Stop digging it all up and going over everything again and again and again. Um, I think what's making you do that is this um, sun in reverse. And we're coming in to the reading here as the uh, the hierophant in reverse. This sort of sense of um, the inner order being on its head, um, and perhaps you know with good reason, Pisces. Um, I mean, the sun in reverse. Th th this middle card acts as in this three card reading is the block or the drain, the block or drain on our power. And I mean, you know, you look at it and you say, well, it's the sun in reverse. Of course, it's a block or a drain on power, you know, a block or drain on well-being, of course. But there's more to it than that. There's more to it than that. There's something in this. There's another dimension to this. There's an expectation here that things should be better than they are. Now, I don't know what's gone on. Um, of course, I don't know what's going on, but what I'm seeing here is um, a feeling of uh, things not being the way they should be, or not not being the way you want them to be. And here, it's that it's that that it should be different. And as a result of that, there's your your response to that is to dig over and dig over and dig over old ground and this card here the last card in this three card reading is the key to power so I can't remember whether I said that already and it's judgment in the reverse so it's like look just stop going over all that you know of, of course <laughs> this situation whatever it is coming in with the the, the hierophant in the reverse you know, the Hierophant is about, um, yeah, the the inner, the personal kind of power structure, the personal hierarchy of how things damn well should be. And it's not how you want it to be. It, it It's... But, uh, There's a, a, a sorry to go so quiet there, but there's something so obvious about this being the being being the block and drain that there, there's another dimension to this. It, there is a sense of there is a sense of entitlement here. I'm sorry, Pisces, I've got to say it because I'm getting this really, really strongly. There's a sense by which you feel entitled that this be like this. You know that that somehow. There's some like um, cosmic wrong that you would be this unhappy. But, you know, if this is the case, if this is how you feel, if this is what, what you're experiencing, this is the energy that you're coming into, of course. You know, what else would you expect other than to feel unhappy, unfulfilled, unconnected? And like there's 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 no resolution. The reason I'm focusing on this is because this is the block or the drain. It's already unhappy. 
sun in reverse, but it's here in the position as the block or drain. So there's something about how you are managing your own discomfort around this situation um, that is just keeping it there. And it's like you keep going back in your mind or perhaps even physically to like the, the, the scene of, of the crime, whatever it is that has turned this hierophant on its head. You keep going back and going over it and over it and over it. Because the key to power is to stop doing that. You know, let what has happened be what it is. You know, let let the events of, of, of this represented here by the, the, the by the buried let them lie. Let it lie. Because this is the key to power with judgment in the reverse. So it's like there's nothing to be gained here from going over and over and over the same ground. You know, none of us is owed happiness. None of us. You know, there's no guarantee. There's nothing that says that, that, that we should be happy. We have to sort that out for ourselves. And one surefire way to be unhappy is to think that you should be happy and that it is right that you be happy and that you deserve to be happy and that you are entitled to have the conditions in your life that bring you happiness. You're not. I'm not. No one is. And no amount of raking over the coals of this and digging through it again and again and again is going to change that. Ooh, Pisces, don't know where that came from. <clears throat> right, one from the swords. Okay, seven of swords. <sighs> Widely known as the thief card. <laughs> I'm going to put that down for the time being because it's just too obvious. It's too obvious to say that, you, you, you know... Well, OK, either you feel like something has been taken from you that shouldn't have been taken from you, that belonged to you and someone's gone running off with it or most of it. And I see for the first time, so or or someone really has. But either way, it is not the universe's job to make you happy. But however, just a note, just a side note, this might be significant. I see here really for I've noticed really pretty much for the first time these tents here. So this is um, a, a, a military encampment where people have gone, where an army, a group has gone to, uh, to do battle, to sort something out, to work together, to collaborate together. And either on, on, on achieving something, and either this person here in the Seven of Swords is a, a traitor to to his um, oh God, I can't work out what side of the camera I'm on to his fellows, and is running off with swords. Um, maybe he wants to sell them. Maybe he wants to take them to the other side to 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 the enemy camp. Yeah, maybe he's a straight up traitor, or he's someone from the enemy camp coming in and nicking the swords so that this lot aren't going to be able to win this battle. Whatever it is, there there is some there's some element, yeah, of course, there's some element of something that belongs to someone else in the wrong hands. And and treachery. And and there's no way of knowing from this uh from this card whether the person here running away with the swords is um from this group or from the opposing group. There's no way of knowing. But this, this is about the collaborative being betrayed by the individual. All right, I'm just gonna put that down there for the time being and pull the rest of the cards. <clears throat> King of Wands. Okay, well, whoever this is in the Seven of Swords, King of Wands has his eye firmly on him. 
Look how these two cards sit next to each other. <laughs> He's looking straight at him. I can see you. <laughs> and he is looking back like, oh, shit, I've been spotted. <laughs> well, that might might be significant. We'll see. But he did it. I mean, you know, if the King of Wands even seen it, he, he he's not sort of like jumping up yet out of his throne to put this right. Hold on a sec. Okay, six of uh, Pentacles. Fairness, lack of fairness, equal treatment, lack of equal treatment. Someone in a position to um, to give, giving to one and withholding from another, and kind of uh, it's sort of abuse of power in a way. Perhaps we're getting a little bit more information about what's gone on here in the uh, Hierophant in reverse. And like I said, Pisces, it's perfectly natural to feel unhappy about this. But the fact that the unhappiness is itself in the position of the block or the drain suggests to me that there is a sense that it be wrong, a sense that it is wrong that you be unhappy about this. And that that's heaping another wrong on this. It's giving it an extra dimension that is really, really not helpful. I mean, if someone's nicked your swords, it's perfectly natural to be pissed off about that or pissed, as you would say, in America. It's really interesting. You probably know this, but in the UK, pissed means drunk. Anyway, it's perfectly natural to um, be unhappy about that. But feeling that there's a kind of wrongness about you being unhappy, about something unhappy having been done to you, that's just heaping another, it's like unhappiness squared. Where's that going to get us? Okay, four of cups. Right, let me have a little think about this. Right, listen. I'm just going to come straight out and say it. Some wrong has clearly been done. And it has been seen. King of Wands here has seen it. You know, the world has seen it. The effects of this wrong thing are apparent in the world. It is visible that this wrong has been done. But <clears throat> sun in reverse here as the block or drain is linking in for me with this four of cups here. There's a kind of, sorry Pisces, a kind of petulance about this. A kind of, well, you know, you shouldn't have done that. Of course they shouldn't have done it. But it's like just going on and on and on about it. As I say, digging it up, going over and over and over it. The key to power is to, is to just, just be done with that. But, they're, they're, oh God, there really is a sense of injustice here and unfairness about this but you know this cup is being offered this cosmic hand and I mean the three cups are sitting there they've been drunk from they've been tasted and the, the the young man here is so convinced that what's in this cup is the same as what was in these cups he's not even bothering to look at it you know this gift coming out of nowhere so busy reopening the wound so it can be licked again and picking the scab off and picking it off and picking it off in a way I think almost to, to sort of imagine in yeah I'm, I'm oh god I'm really getting this strongly from the six of um the six of, of pentacles here with this sort of feeling that if if you can keep picking that scab until it forms a permanent scar and never gets to heal properly and actually kind of go away and smooth over. Pick and pick and pick so that it becomes kind of, you know, it becomes, what's that, get, yeah, it gets infected, it goes septic. 
and then it turns into this like like horrible scar. Then you can walk around the rest of your life going, look, look what they did to me, look. You can go over it again and again and again. That's what I'm getting from this. There is no need. The King of Wands has seen what's been done. And I mean, here, another dimension to the Six of Pentacles here. You know, who is to say who deserves to be happy? Who is to say? You know, the, 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 who of us knows the mind of God? To say this one deserves something good to happen and this one deserves to be punished or something. Who knows the mind of God? We all go around thinking that we know that. And we judge and we look at other people and we say, well, if I was in their shoes, I wouldn't have done that. I would have done something better. Oh, God, this is really uh, quite fired me up, Pisces, as you can hear. This needs to be this needs to be left to heal. The question is, can you? Can you? Do you have the uh, sorry, I've got to say it, the maturity to just leave this wound alone and let it heal. Because a wound is a wound. And yes, it's not right that it was inflicted on you. But there is, there's, there's a, a, a going over and over and over of it, which is what I'm starting to do now. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to pick one from the Wild Quan Yin Oracle. There it is. There it is, Pisces. There it is. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> we get her hand gentles the war. And we have two big, I guess, male creatures fighting for control, fighting for power. <laughs> I just got the Bob Marley line. See them fighting for power, but they know not the hour. Fantastic song, Ambushing the Night. I think it's Ambushing the Night. Anyway, look, I'll stop rambling. They are fighting for power. They both want control. In this case, with the, with these animals, they want control of the herd. They want control of the females. It's a matched power struggle. And here is Kuan Yin flying in to stop the battle. So, uh, <clears throat> there is an appeal in this card for a kind of a spiritual force, Pisces, to end this, this gone over again and again and again unhappiness here. And The thing that really tells me, apart from the Kuan Yin card here, her hand gentles the war. It doesn't end it necessarily, but it gentles it. But the other thing here that shows me that it is not necessary that this be gone over again and again and dug up again and again and again to prove to yourself how hard done by you have been. And this probably ain't going to go down very well. But the thing on this table that shows me that that is not necessary is this King of Wands. This crime has been seen. It has been seen by others. It has been seen by the universe. It has been seen by the people who matter. And I would think there is even the possibility here in the Four of Cups that you are actually being offered comfort and and support, but that in your wish to justify here in the sun in reverse, 
why it is you are so, so, so unhappy. And in telling the story again and again and again, you are actually missing out on real support that is out there. Uh, the thing is, whoever this person is in the Seven of, of Swords here, they are um, a law unto themselves, as you are, Pisces, as we all are. And there is nothing you, I, or doodly pie can do to control the actions of other people. We can only ever appeal to uh, people's better nature. <laughs> and very often it seems like they simply don't have one. <laughs> and it's a very, very tough thing to um, stop stop fighting, stop um, engaging in a power struggle with someone and trying to get them and perhaps people around them to see it your way and to see you as the victim of whatever it is. But the push to be seen as the one who has been wronged can make you just as, as, as powerful as the force that has wronged you, that you say has made you a victim. And in that situation, you, it's just a war of attrition then. It's equally matched, like the two uh, male bison here in this card. You know, there's no way of knowing which one can win. And that's why she's flying in. Because they can only hurt each other, Pisces. And that's all that can come. The King of Wands is here. He has seen the crime. It is not necessary that you dig it up again and again and again. And miss out on, uh, on genuine support and help coming your way because of a kind of, uh, I would say, a misplaced notion of uh, who deserved what. We get what we get, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there before I make myself any more unpopular with you. Uh, please like, <laughs> please share, please subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And um, I'll see you again in another reading. All best, Pisces. Bye-bye.